from the Bundesliga for the first time in their history. They are behind their team. The time has come for change at Hamburg. What's going on, man? It's Mark, and welcome to our FIFA 21 Road to Glory career mode. If you couldn't tell by the title, the thumbnail, or even the trailer, then I I don't I don't actually know how you haven't worked out what team we're doing. We're doing it with Hamburg SV Hamburg Hamburg. Uh, if if there's any Germans watching, please let me know how you how you actually say the name. <laughs> Let's uh, let's let's jump into this, boys. So we've conquered England with Peterborough. We then conquered England and Europe with Leighton Orient. So for now, it is time that we take our expertise somewhere else. We're going abroad. We're going to Germany. We're dropping down to the second division of the Bundesliga and we are going to Hamburg SV. Six time Bundesliga champions, three time uh, the DFB Pokal champions or the German Cup and a UEFA Champions League to their name. They are currently on a bit of a decline and it's time to take them back up it's time to take them back to the top of the Bundesliga and back on top of Europe. Let's go meet the boys. All right, so here is the team. It's not a bad little... This this team is good enough to 
get promoted straight away. I think this is a this is a really good team actually. Um, yeah, wow, this is this wow. I wasn't expecting this. I think we'll put this guy Giamara in for Wagnerman because then literally every player is above um, is above seventy apart from this guy who. I'm not too sure why he's gone down. Is it because he's playing out of position? That's the team for now. I think we don't need to really make any changes to that. That's a team that's good enough for promotion and even the title, I think, in this division. However, there are a few players getting on. I noticed here, Tarod. Tarodi is 32. Um, so we might need to be on the lookout for a young striker the rest of them don't say hunt is 33 so we might need to look for that as well uh, but the rest of them are pretty young all right there at 31 is quite young for a keeper so he should be fine for the next few years and 79 is a pretty good overall even for the bundesliga i reckon uh, so that you know i think we could be all right i don't think i'm gonna make many changes to that team However, I don't actually know how much we've got. We've got... Da, 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 we've got 10 mil. So that is actually quite decent. Let's go to the Youth Academy. Because these are really my future stars. And I think it's this guy, Vilhor Heikler, who is a, a Finnish 15-year-old. He's no finished. He's only 15. Um, it's a reference there. <laughs> so I was talking about this development plan but my um, my Elgato decided to freeze on me so you've missed what I've done here um, so now you can actually change the position and how they play so I have gone with a right winger for the boy uh, Hi 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 Heikela it'd be like oh, it'd be like Heikinen so I assume it's Hi Heikela Heikela I have no idea um, so I've decided to train him not as a right mid, but as a right winger. And that should be done, if you see there, next to the bar. Two weeks' time. His attack and work rate will go all the way up. He'll get a lot more finishing, a lot more attacking position, a lot more long shots, dribbling, ball control, and agility. And I'm pretty sure... Did I see that we can promote him? No, we can't. I was going to say, can we promote 15-year-olds now? No, we can't. We can do 16s. So I assume he can come up. I didn't mean to do that. I assumed it was going to say, are you sure? Uh, which it didn't. But this is another guy who seems pretty decent. I've clicked the wrong one. Here he is. I found him. Radovan Pospisil is another one who's got pretty decent um, overall um, uh, and potential. Sorry, I'm sure I saw that he can go up to a, an 89. So that is pretty decent. Um, we're going to stick him with a cam. I think he's a decent enough cam he's got the uh, his passing could maybe do with a bit more um so i think we'll train him on that uh on the proper training however i do think i want him as an advanced playmaker i think so he's not gonna do many of the goals do many of the goals score many of the goals but i want him there as a um as like he's gonna pull the strings in the middle I think that's the uh, that's how I want him all right so we've got a game in the pre-season tournament and I think now is a good time to test out the um, the sim this year because what we've got this year I'm sure you already know is that we can jump into the sim whenever we want so we'll see how this goes so we can see from top down it's basically football manager um, and I think if we just press well, we can press start or we can just press square to jump in straight away. And I do think that we can actually make changes from here. I'm not actually too sure. All right, so we're coming forward. 18 pulls it back. Oh, yes, 1-0 already. And it's Aaron Hunt getting the goal. I don't actually know what numbers everybody is. So I don't, <laughs> this is just me going, oh, it's number, number 7. All the way out to 21, 37. Trying to stand him up in the middle. 21. Oh, he's been turned on. Uh, Boodaboo. All right, so we know how this works. We're just going to jump to the result. We lost 2-1. Um, but it's, uh, you know, it's the preseason tournament. We don't really care. All right, so we got knocked out of the preseason tournament at the group stages. Uh, so we can't go all the way in that. However, we do get a bit of money in it. How much did we get? One mil. Not too bad. Um, however, 
I don't really know what to spend that money on because we've got a decent team. Like I said, wow, they're all tired. Wow, we've got a decent team, and I don't actually know where to spend it on. Um, like I said, maybe the the striker and attacking midfield option needs to be upgraded. Not really upgraded, but um reconsidered considering the ball 34 and 33 so maybe we need to uh, think of the future and get a new one in uh, maybe a new center mid maybe a new winger i really have no idea where or who to upgrade um so i don't really know how to do training in this game i'm not gonna lie to you and the thing is to get like the best thing to get the best um result i'd need to play it and get like an A, because if I just sim it, I'll sim it now just so you know, the best you're going to get is a D, which is a little bit stupid because I don't really care about training, I don't really care enough to want to play it, at least even once, because, you know, it's training, I don't, I don't care, <laughs> I don't care enough, I'm just going to keep on quick simming them. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have made our first signing, it's Luis Suarez, not that one, Luis Javier, Javier Suarez from Granada in Spain. 8.7 million for the 22-year-old Colombian. And um, yeah, it's a pretty decent signing, I reckon. Let me just show you something. He's absolutely fucking rapid. That's why I bought him. 75 overall. 86 potential. Yes, I looked it up. Don't at me. Uh, 11.5 million he was worth. So I've got that down because his contract was up at the end of the season. So I managed to whittle that down. I don't think that is a bad signing. Because if we just whack him up top right now, he comes in and bosh. There you go. Just adds a bit of a adds a bit of pace to that uh, top line. You see there, Tarodi. Uh, wasn't the quickest, but uh, you know we'll keep him around because um, you know he's a, he's a he's a day one and he's not a bad. Oh, he's a really good. I can't get over how decent this starting team is. I'd, I've never had a team this good from the start. Wait, what? What? Oh fuck! What? That's bollocks! I, I didn't realise that this guy called David Kinsombi in the starting lineup has got a bastard release clause. Oh shit! The bed. Oh, can we, like, get rid of that? I haven't actually looked at if any of them have got release clauses. That is a bit of a pain in the arse. I mean, yeah, you can go for that. Yep, so he's going to go up because I can't even try and renew his contract. So, um, yeah, this guy is going. So we do need to maybe look for a new holding midfielder. Uh, unless any of these want to step up, this guy's already going down. Wait, what? What are you on about? Don't start this already. So, here you go. We were going to talk about my contract situation, weren't we? I've heard nothing from you. Alright then. Wait, what? I've just tried to do it. You literally saw me try and do it and he refused. Alright then, let's try and go again. Let's try and go again, shall we? Where is he? Can zombie... Contract negotiation? No, he's not interested. All right, then. All right, then. I hope you go. Actually, we're about... I think we'll be about 10 minutes into the video, and I've already got a player who I fucking hate. So, bye-bye. Oh, is he gone? Yeah, he's just gone. All right, then. That can zombie guy has gone. I'm just going to uh, fuck off. <laughs> just going to tell it we do one. So, we could do with a new midfielder right about now. We've got 7 million. He's actually just... Put about three million back into the way into the uh, the transfer budget. So I'm gonna have a look for some midfielders. Uh, I'm currently doing it right now, actually. Um, so if you guys can think of any midfielders who you uh, want me to have a look at, please let me know. Why is there so many fucking Brazilians? One of my scouts in Brazil. Yeah, why are you in Brazil? <laughs> so yeah, so if you can think of any uh, centre midfielders, even uh, attacking midfielders or defensive midfielders who you... Because, uh, you know, we can retrain them now to play in the uh, in actual centre mid. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below and I'll have a look at them for next episode. But for now, let's get into our first game of the series, shall we? Our one and only game of... Of the episode because as you all know at the start of the season we only do one game it's against Braunschweig please don't get annoyed at me if and when I pronounce names wrong <laughs> so we're away for our first game so we will have to wait 
uh, before we can play in front of the home end. But let's get into this. Bundesliga two-time, the Hamburg Road to Glory officially starts now with our first game. Let's get into it. It's time, boys and girls, to start off the games. Braunschweig versus Hamburger SV at the Union Park Stadium. I assume that isn't the real stadium. I know that FIFA's got a tie-in with the, the Bundesliga, so most, if not all of the top-tier German sides have their proper stadiums in the game, and even Hamburg have their stadium in the game as well. So for the first time, in a road to glory, we're actually going to an official stadium in our home games. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna know any of the Eintracht Braunschweig players. Um, I, I don't think so, unless there's somebody there that bang pops out. That's not Tony Cruz, I know that for a fact. Kobylanski, who's up top, Abdullahi, and Proschwitz. All right, and here's how we start for our first game. Ulreich in goal, a back four of Leibold, Leisner, Jung, and Giamare. I no idea how to say that name. Dudziak, Hunt, and Pops P Pospisil at Cam. And then up top is Kittle, Jatta, and Suarez making his debut through the middle. I've gone with Pospisil. Pospisil through the middle uh, because obviously we had that guy who left. I've already forgotten his name. He means nothing anymore. He's annoyed me. He's gone. Bye-bye. Say bye to him. Uh, so, yeah, we've decided to go with the Ginger Ninja through the middle. So we are off up the Bergs. Come on. Let's uh, let's just get a win. I've not really played that much of this game. So this is going to be a learning experience. His Hunt, the captain, gives the ball away. And now can Braunschweig maybe counter... Is it? Oh, no, they can't because we've won the ball. Here's Pospisil to Suarez to Pospisil. Takes a touch. Back across. Oh, it would have been the dream start if it was him who got the first goal. All right. Corner now. Swung into not really the middle. It's towards Suarez. Luis Suarez, not that one. Um, oh, takes it past one. Tries to skip past two. Got a bit too cocky there. Dudziak to Kittle. Out wide to Leobald. It's a great first touch from Leobald. Hits it straight at the keeper. Really should be doing better with that one. We do win the second. Is Pospisil. Lays it back to Hunt. Back to Pospisil. That's a clear foul. Is Jatter now. Went for anybody to make some form of movement. I have no idea what has actually just happened there with that pass. But here is Hunt. In field to Dudziak. Dudziak? Dudziak? No idea. His Kittle. Oh, it's pass was uh, way off there. Now, can they break away? Big header from the big bald man at the back. Up towards Kittle to Pop Pospisil. He's fouled again, is Pospisil here. He's just drawn the fouls from the Braunschweig players. They just can't deal with him, and they're just hacking him down. It's our captain standing over it. Can he get the first goal of the save? It's over the wall. Oh, it's a great save. Or oh, has he tipped that onto the bar? That was flying in. We'll see this from... In goal cam, that's flying and that's a fantastic save from the keeper. Corner in. Big bald man! Oh! <laughs> Leisner with the first goal of the save and it's from a corner. Big bald bastard at the back has got the first goal and it's a, it's a corner! It's a corner. I think I've already scored the same amount of corners than I did in the entire of the FIFA 20 save. And we're only on episode one. It's a great corner swung in by, I think it's Hunt who's took that corner. Uh, and Leisner there, the big bald bastard at the back, <laughs> gets free and whack. You can't see because there's no air. There's no friction. So it's just 100% skin. It's just, it's like, it's like that. Oh, he's looking at him. He's off. Oh, he's dead happy about that one, isn't he? Big Tony, oh, big Tony, the big bald bastard at the back. That's what he's called from now on, by the way. Ball up the wing towards Jatter now. Jatter, ball in the middle. It's towards Suarez. Oh, he's in the bar. He's in the Denver. Widrup, Kama Bauer, up towards Abdullahi, Proshvitz, back to Abdullahi, back to Proshvitz. He's hit that first time, and Ulreich will smother that. Just on the brink of half time. Kaufman now tries to dink that. I don't know who he's aiming for, but it might actually work here. If we can get that, yes, we can. Now up to Pospisil. Up to Suarez. Suarez just going to hold this ball off, lay it off to Jatter. Jatter now in the middle. Pospisil! Oh, he's put it wide! He's had two great chances to score. 
Oh, he's in the, I was going to say he's in it with his left, but he is left footed to be fair. He's getting in the right places as the young player, but he just can't. You know, he's just not got that clinical edge. Hopefully, you know, when we're done, he'll be popping them in for fun. Here he is again, Pospisil. Lays it off to Jatter. You're going to hear my accent come out a lot when I say Jatter, by the way. You're going to hear that northeast accent start to come out when I say Jatter. Cruz. Pass is blocked by Jatter to Suarez. His Dudziak. I recognise him. Dudziak through one on one. He's buried it. 2 0 to the visiting side. And it looks like the points are all wrapped up. And it's Dudziak with a goal. I recognise him when I see him. I do recognise him. He's one of the players I recognise. It's the hair. I, I knew straight away it was him. Dudziak there uh, being played in by Suarez. And I've hit it. Uh, I've took it the wrong side because. I just assumed he was right footed, but he's apparently left. Um, but he just slotted that into the right hand side of the net. Keeper can't get to it. And we are two goals to the good. Hunt up to Dudziak to Pospisil. Pospisil to Hunt. Hunt up to Jatter. Jatter to Tarodi. Tarodi to Dudziak. Oh, that was brilliant play. <laughs> Hamburg 3-0 up. Dudziak with his second. And it's Ferg ball. It's Mark Ferg ball. That is just bang, 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 bang. Goal. <laughs> Look at this play. Jatter to Tarada. Tarada with the turn. Little reverse pass into Dudziak. And that's Tarada. Tarada. Can't remember his name. That's his first touch of the ball. We've just brought him up for Suarez. And his first touch is to grab an assist. And Dudziak getting the goals from midfield. He's second of the game. And he looks like a decent little player, Jeremy Dudziak. We might have to keep an eye on him. Let's hope he doesn't have a release clause. Can Braunschweig get a consolation goal? Or will Hamburg hold on for a debut clean sheet? It is the latter of the two. Hamburg 3, Braunschweig 0. It's a fantastic start to the road to glory for the boys. A good 3-0 win. Two from Dudziak. One from the big bald bastard at the back. And a debut clean sheet as well. Not a bad start. Surely three goals have to put us by the top. And you know, I, I intend, of once I get to the top of this division, I don't intend to ever slip I don't intend to ever drop down to second. We want out of this first try, boys. And we will get out of this division first try. All right, so that is where I'm going to finish it for today. If you did enjoy this and are looking forward to the rest of the save, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. When we come back, we'll probably uh, just run through the games um, up to transfer deadline day, I think. Uh, so... Like I said, if you have any suggestions of, I think midfielders is where we're going right now, let me know in the comments down below and I'll have a look at them. Uh, but I think for the rest of the team, it's pretty decent right now. We've got a great keeper. I, I assume he'd be the best keeper in the league. A decent back four with all right backup as well. And uh, I think it's just the midfield three of... Um, I think it's just the uh, the where Pospisil is right now. I think that's where we need to maybe get a player who is good enough right now. And I know Pospisil had a decent game, but I think he is more one for the future. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. We've got about 7 million. So uh, yeah, let me know of any players you can think of. I'll be back next week for the next episode of this save. If you want to follow me on Twitter or anything at all, the links, as always, are in the description down below so yeah thanks for watching i hope you are excited for this save as much as i am i can't wait to get my my teeth into german football and be battling with the teams of Bayern munich uh borussia dortmund and uh that's about it really <laughs> so yeah thanks for watching sure to leave a like subscribe all that stuff stay safe wash your hands and until next time have a nice day all I'm